Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about a couple of cool WPF controls. And one of these guys is tooltip. So tooltip is used to give little tiny bits of information or tips, hints to the end user about your application. Uh, let's take this sample we did in the last demo, for example. If we run this, we'll see at the first look, we don't know what this combo box does or we don't know the purpose of it. So we could use the tool tip to give user and user a hint as to what this combo box does. So let's go ahead and add tool tip to this combo box. So we're going to, it's going to be inside the combo box, uh, closing tag. Um, so it's going to be a child of the combo box or whatever control we are assigning it to be. So let's go ahead and say combo box dot tool tip open close and inside here we can simply add a text block and give it a text of um, we could say this is a or select the time desired and let's open close and then actually let's increase the font size a little bit let's go with uh, 16 so at the first glance it's not obvious but if we run this and we move our mouse over the combo box, the tooltip will appear. So it tells you select the time desired. So it's kind of giving you the information what to do with the control, what the combo box does, or what you're supposed to do. Okay, so that's tooltip. The next cool control I like to talk about is a bullet. Uh, generator I think bullet decorator sorry so this is like a uh, think of as a bullet list or bulleted items in a say presentation you can think similar to, to that kind of scenario um, so let's go ahead and add one just to see how it works so Bullet decorator has two child elements. One of them is bullet. The other one is uh, bullet decorator dot child. Okay, so bullet and child. Uh, in the first one, we can add basically anything we want. Let's say. Uh, Let's add an image. Let's add an image. I think I actually have a few in here. Um, I'm going to go with this arrow. Let's say a source. Maybe it's PNG or JPEG. PNG. Okay, so source arrow dot png let's close this out and add something here text block in the child this could be a description of the bullet item let's say this is bullet item one okay the image is too large we can adjust the size 
Let's see in the height to 20. Let's increase the uh, font size of the text block also to 20. So now we have bullet item here. Okay. Let's copy and paste this. It doesn't have to be an image, it could be anything in the bullet item. Let's do one with an ellipse. So this is ellipse. Let's get a height and uh, say height of 10, width of 10. Let's pretend it's a dot. And we're gonna fill up uh, black. Close this out. And uh, did I miss something here? Mm, I think I did. So it's exact panel. All right, so I inadvertently copy the stack panel close and tag also all right so we have two bullets here let's change this to bullet item two okay so image we use the ellipse we can basically put anything we want to but most likely the second the first one will be like something that uh, could something like an image or dot, or I don't know, arrow. And the second one's mostly a description of the uh, item. Okay, so, or we could do something like this. Let's paste this again. Let's go ahead and put a uh, I'm going to add a border first inside the bullet. I'm going to give it a height of 30, width of 30, and then background of black. We get a corner radius as well. Let's actually expand this. the corner radius of uh, 25 to make a circle and inside the border I can add another text block and give it a horizontal alignment of center vertical alignment center font size 24 and text of exclamation mark. Uh, the, of course, it's a black, blown black, black. Let's change the foreground also to white to make it visible. So that's another bullet item. Bullet item. All right, let's. Um, Just to three. All right. So that's bullet decorator. Okay. I could, if I wanted to, I could use my bullet uh, decorator inside my tooltip. If that's something you like. So I want to copy and paste this inside my tooltip here. And change the uh, description to select the time. Let's run this again. So now instead of just the uh, text block, I have a bullet item as my tooltip. Okay, so that's a couple of Cool WPF controls that I like. I wanted to share with you. So I hope you enjoy it. Please um, 
like and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next one.